Well, there it is. Ta da! <laughs> I had a little road trip. Uh, Y'all gonna have to excuse it, but I can't hardly breathe and mouth breathing and all that kind of crap. I broke ribs, what I got. Uh, 140 bucks and it's been uh, reworked and uh, milled and just cleaned from top to bottom and it has been well it's got new uh, valve seats the seats have been ground clean check then it's got new uh, valve stem uh, o-rings and stuff like that on there so this sucker's like brand new and it is the exact same casting two four five seven six one four six two thousand and two so all i gotta do is change that plate that plates uh for a front wheel drive vehicle yep and i'll put the plate off of this one on here Right there. This little smaller one right here. So I called as soon as I got back. I had a road trip. That's from the west coast to the east coast back to west coast. For a round trip, uh, 300 miles. Right at uh, 300 miles. It was uh, 148 one way. So that's 300 miles. Four miles, you know. Then you got to figure out how to get off the road, exit, and all that crap, you know. Get fuel. <clears throat> uh, but tomorrow, if I can get this in the truck, I don't know if I can or not. Uh, I think I broke my rib trying to break this uh, nut right here, or bolt, off the bell housing with it in the truck. I was straining so hard. And I ain't kidding you, I can feel it pop in and out. And this is painful, golly, <laughs> it hurts, <laughs> trust me, it does. But anyhow, uh, I'll take this down, and he'll completely steam clean it, and then he'll magna flux it, and he'll pop the cam burns out, and mic it, the crank and the cam, so that I'll know what uh, bearings get. I need to get the crank bearings, rod bearings, and the cam bearings. And uh, $85, it's all just under uh, 100 bucks. Uh, I wish I had the money to just go ahead, or well, I got the money. The problem is, is just being able to go ahead and get them cam bearings. Unless I order it, the kit piece by piece by piece. And that's a little bit more expensive because then you, the shipping and everything gets to you. Yep. But anyhow, uh, this is what we're looking at. I'll pull the rod bearings out, put it back together, and then put all of them on there and take the rings off uh, on a coat hanger and load them up. And then I'll put the crank bearing caps back on with a block. And then I'll load the crank in the truck along with a cam. And we'll take it down there and let him mic it and clean everything up for me. Be squeaky clean. And when I take it back, when I go pay him for that and get all the stuff back, I'll take just the block back and he'll put the uh, cam bearings in for me and I'll have him go ahead and put my freeze plugs in. That'll give me time. I'll be able to uh, spray paint the whole block. I'm going to paint it black, make it look really good. It make it run a little hotter, but you know, <clears throat> I damn sure don't want to rust bug it. <laughs> Once it gets completely clean, it's it's gonna be nice. Be like that. That looks good right there. <clears throat> and that was a buy. It was one hundred forty dollars. A broke rib <laughs> and one hundred forty dollars <laughs> and fifty dollars in fuel and three hundred mile drive. Six hours. Well, six and a half, I had to get fuel. Stop. But there you have it. Pretty cool, huh? 
So about 1st of July is when I should have it uh, completely built and installed in the truck, hopefully. Uh, get close to July the 4th. By the 16th, my birthday, my woman, I have a nice, pretty little truck to drive around. And she'll love it. That'll be hers. But I want to get all this shit cleaned out right here. Every bit of it. I want it, I want the block squeaky clean. <clears throat> no blockage, really and truly. Mm. But I ain't kidding you. I got a broke rib from fooling around with that thing. I was riding down the road. And my seat has got a little like that on the sides. It kind of curves up a little bit. Uh, and I was leaning on that thing. I could feel that rib popping in and out on it. And why? Mm. I wouldn't have thought that you could strain hard enough to break a rib, but Angela says that you can uh, break a rib just by coughing. I'm like, what? <laughs> Damn. Well, there you go. Nanny nanny, shots bought and all that other good shit. Mm, heavy breathing and can't breathe and I'm smoking. And my rib hurts, but that's my score right there. Yeah, Vero Beach. From the West Coast to the East Coast, the East Coast back to the West Coast. <laughs> Highway 70. Man, damn, that's a long run. Yeah, there's nothing out there. The, really, the only thing to see is uh, DeSoto County Correctional Institute and, uh, damn, I forgot the name of it. Barter, Baker's, something, Honey, and a side farm that's got uh, horses and lions in the entryway. <laughs> Those big giant statues. Oh, but other than that, that's shit. A hell of a ride, but it was worth it. Cause eBay was right at five hundred dollars for a completely rebuilt one, and then I'd had to send the core in, and Craigslist was a hundred dollars for one like that, and then I would have had to have it completely rebuilt, milled, and uh, cleaned. And well, that's more money, so you'd be looking at about three hundred dollars. That was a buy, and I didn't hesitate. <clears throat> made sure that I got on the road and got it. The guy goes, did you really drive from the West Coast here in that truck? And I said, I sure did. <laughs> I drive mine all over the place too. Mine's a 5.0. I said, I got a 6.0. <laughs> mine just don't know how to pass a gas station. <laughs> it does all right on gas, I guess. I'd figure it out. Uh, 261 a gallon and $50. Uh, it's 300 miles, so I just figure that into the, uh, the figures and I'll be able to write down exactly how much mileage I'm getting out of that truck after I put that brand new water pump on over there. <laughs> Pain in the ass. But I just can't get away from this mechanic and shit. My own vehicles is wearing me out. Damn car. I got a water pump to put on it now. This truck, my truck, the big tractor, the Jacobson, that little dude there is purring like a little kitten. And I, my damn grass is up knee high almost again. And well, I fixed that tiller over there too. So, uh, shit, it's been non stop really. I hadn't had a break from grease and oil. Well, and there you have it. Peace. Nanny, nanny, any shots bought and all that other good shit. It's my shop. Yeah, I peel out of my pants when I get soaking wet. <laughs> get naked. <laughs> Walk through the house. I'm cluster fucked up, though. Well, 